everyone. So, let me just back this up a little bit further there. I am going to get Miss Ella and change her into some Christmas PJs. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Things are falling off the back of the couch. Okay, let's see. Let me just bring you guys in a smidge closer. All right, so I figured I would change Ella while I um, talk about this baby that I'm getting. So I had a sculptor contact me a long time ago. Um, asked me if I would share her babies if she made me one, and I said, sure I would. So I got to pick the sculpt of, how I wanted the baby to be sculpted. This lady makes, um, very unique, realistic babies. Let me just move you guys in more. You're not seeing much of the Christmas tree anyway, so. So she makes very unique, realistic babies. Um, babies that are born with um, babies that are not born I'm trying to think about how to properly put this so it's not wrong, but it's like babies that are born with Down Syndrome or dwarfs or um, you know, missing different chromosomes that cause them to look different, um, cleft palate babies, just all different types of babies. Even two-headed babies I've seen her make. So conjoined twins where they actually have like two heads in one body, or um, I've seen her make a baby where I believe it recently had heart surgery, so she sculpted the chest to look like it's been stitched up. Very nice babies. So... I've been waiting for my special custom made baby for a long time now. It's been over a year and it's definitely been well worth the wait. I'm super excited. So I'm getting, because I know that not all babies are born perfect. However, when babies are born with special needs, they're still very perfect children. They are just, you know, a little different than our normal, um, healthy everyday babies that are born you know I think it's nice that this lady sculpts babies showing what you know different realities of um, babies and how they can be born I really you know it is a soft it's a touchy subject for a lot of people and um, you know there's only been a few like kits made of special needs children like uh, there was a I think two Down Syndrome kits have been created. Um, unfortunately, not many sculptors make many of these babies that are not born um, without any issues. And this lady is wanting to break into that field of having um, her sculpts being produced. So she wants to continue, you know, her plan is to make babies that are born with uh, different special needs different, you know, facial characteristics because of the conditions they're born with. So, my girls, and I say girls, are almost done. And they are so cute. And I'm going to share a photo with you sometime in this video. But they are super adorable. I couldn't expect them to be any more perfect. Um, I'm getting a... And I looked up babies born with this condition, and I swear this lady, she nailed it. She made it, she made these babies look just like the babies that are born with um, this condition. But I am getting conjoined twins. They are conjoined at the face. So it's two faces on one head. Um, this is a very rare birth that does happen, but it does happen. The last one I saw was in Australia in 2014 of two little girls born with one head, two faces, and one body. They lived for 19 days. They were so cute. But that is what I'm having created for me is two little girls born with 
one head, two faces, one body. They will be featured on my channel. Um, oh, I wanted to put this diaper on her as soon as they're here. And just to be up front, I know that maybe not everybody agrees with this, but I really do like to keep my channel um, real and to the point. And let's be real, not all babies are born um, the way we would expect them to be born. That's what makes the society a unique society. But even though they're born with differences, they're still very perfect to all of us. Um, I'm excited to have them on my channel. And if there is comments left that are mean and hateful, I'm just going to block your account with no warning. Um, this is a very sensitive subject just because I know people, you know, have children born with rare conditions and stuff and I'm not going to tolerate bullying of anyone just because you're not born looking like the rest doesn't mean you don't belong doesn't mean you aren't perfect in your own way so I will block your channel with no hesitation um, I do not want to have to private my comments because I love to see what you guys write it's nice to share with each other so instead of if mean, hateful comments are left, I'm just going to block your channel. So if you guys don't want to watch my channel anymore, please think twice before you comment about my new conjoined twins. Um, I'm very excited about them. The artist is very excited to send them to me. Her name is Chinza Babies. I believe that is her name. You will see on the watermark of the photo her actual name, and I will put her um, correct name in the link. I believe she... I don't know if she has a website, but she does have an Instagram page. So I'll definitely um, share her Instagram page in the description below. But her name's Chenza Babies. She makes adorable sculpts. I am beyond excited for my baby girls. I just picked out names for them yesterday. So I'll make another video of that when I... Probably closer to when they're coming home and I have more photos to share. But right now I just have a few photos to share with you guys. Which, um, you've probably seen by now. So, yeah, so, that is my new babies that I'm expecting. I've been dying to tell you guys about these dolls, but I swear they <laughs> have been in the process of being made for, I want to say it's close to two years now. I'm not totally sure. But, and I've been, and I knew that it was going to take this long, because she's a college student, and she has custom orders as well. So, um, mine was a special deal with her, so... I've been very patient, and um, I just cannot wait for them to get here. So I, this is my first one-of-a-kind uh, created thing. No, I have one-of-a-kind mini babies, sorry. But these babies will be able to wear newborn size clothing. So my first one-of-a-kind life-size baby, should I say. I'm going to take that out of her mouth. I enjoy having her just without the pacifier. I like her little yawning mouth. So anyways, all right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching.